Hi everyone! Today in this video I'm gonna show you how to find the distance and the middle point formula. So please watch the whole video and don't forget to subscribe. The distance and the midpoint formula. So let's start with the distance formula first. The distance formula is the distance between x1, y1 and x2, y2. To find the distance formula of two points, we find the square of the difference between the x2 minus x1 plus the difference plus the square of the difference between y2 minus y1 and the principal square of this sum is the distance. Now let's move to example to explain the distance formula to make it more clear. So for example, we have the first point it's minus 1, 4, and 3 minus 2. So let's graph these two points first. We have here x and here y. So 1, 2, 3, 4, one, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's graph the first point. We have x equal to minus 1 and y equal to 4. So here's the first one, which is minus 1, 4. And we have second one, x equal to 3 and y equal to minus 2. So here's the second one. 3 minus 2. So we're going to draw a line between these two numbers. So this line is called the distance. So now to find the distance between these two points, we're going to and plug the numbers in the formula. So first, let's, let's choose uh, which one is x1, uh, y1, and uh, x2, y2. So it doesn't matter which one you choose, either one is going to be uh, correct. So I'm going to take here the x1, it's equal to minus 1, and y1 equal to 4, and x2 equal to 3, and y2 equal to minus 2. So now I'm going to take the numbers and plug them in the formula. So we have d equal to square root the square of x2 minus x1 plus the difference the square of the difference between y2 minus y1 so now I'm gonna plug the numbers so we have the x2 equal to 3 minus x1 equal to minus 1 plus y2 equal to minus 2 minus minus uh, y1 equal to 4 So we're going to simplify the inside the square. So we have 3 minus minus 1 equal to 4 square plus and minus 2 minus 4 equal to minus 6 square. So d equal to square root. So 4 squared is equal to 16 plus, and we know minus 6 squared is the same as 6 squared, so it's equal to 36. So d equal to square root of 16 plus 36 is equal to 32. And we can still simplify this, so that's equal to square root of 4. Let's 
multiplying by your 13. So B equal to 2 squared by 13. So B is approximately equal to 7.21. So if you want the, the, the exact answer, it's 2 square root of 13, but that one is just approximately the result. Now let's move to the midpoint formula. So the midpoint is the center of the sigma line, and to find the midpoint, we find the average of the x1 and x2 and the average of the y1 and y2. So let's move to example to understand the midpoint. So let's take the first point, it's 1 minus 6, and the second one it's minus 8 minus 4. So let's graph it first. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8. And we have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we have here the x and the x. So the first one, x equal to 1 and y equal to minus 6. So we have 1 here and minus 6 here. So we have the first point, which is 1 minus 6. And we have the second one, it's minus 8 minus 4. Uh, x equal minus 8 and y equal to minus 4. So we have 1. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8. 8 and 1, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. So here we have the second one. Minus 8, minus 4. So let's draw the line. So now let's find the mid the midpoint. So let's find uh, first. Let's decide which uh, which one is gonna be x one and the y one, and which one is gonna be x two y two. So it doesn't matter which one we choose for each one. It's gonna have the same result. So let's take the first one as the x1, y1, and the second one as uh, x2, y2. So I have x1 equal to 1, y1 equal to minus 6, x2 equal to minus 8, and y2 equal to minus 4. So now we're going to take the numbers and plug them in the formula we have. So the formula we have is x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2 so now we're gonna unplug the numbers so we have the x1 equal to 1 plus the x2 equal to minus 1 uh, x2 equal to minus 8 over 2 And we have y1 equal to minus 6 and y2 equal to minus 4 over 2. So that's equal to 1 minus 8 equal to minus 7 over 2. And we have minus 6 minus 4 equal to minus 10 over 2. And now we simplify this, so that's equal to minus 7 over 2 and minus 10 over 2 is equal to minus 5.
So now we have find the midpoints for these two for these two points. So here is the middle point minus seven over two minus five. That's all for today. And if you have any question, please feel free to write it in the comments below. So I'll see you in my next video.